All right, so this printer failed because Windows decided to do Windows updates and I couldn't finish it. And uh, I don't understand why somebody would design an operating system to authorize on its own to do updates without asking me first. And it's been asking, has been delaying, but all of a sudden I didn't have any options to cancel it. It just forced to restart and the print failed. So thank you, Microsoft, for being... Uh, such a genius in uh, making decisions for your users. So now, uh, when I tried to take this off the platform, I thought it's pretty strong and it broke off this piece here. We're gonna attempt to fix it because I never did this before. So we're going, uh, this is on, the rework station is gonna heat up to like uh, 210 degrees. And you can see it and it blows hot air. And if you keep it too close, you might burn your skin off or something of that nature. So now what we have to do is heat up this part here quickly, only the top. Maybe I should use gloves. So I'm making it molten to, but then if I, if I do this not too well, and the problem is that there's like four parts that need to be heated up. And that is a problem here. But, and I would like to, you know, maintain the aspect. If not, I'm gonna have to use like a 3D pen. It already changed its aspect. And here you can see it already has a layer, but yeah, it's not gonna look as pretty. I mean, at least we could try. And it is soft, so. But what I'm trying to do is get it to become molten and it kind of glues on its own. It, so, ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing. I uh, kind of cooked my finger a little bit there. So now I think the 3D pencil or the 3D will work better. Just now this should. So now it should turn off. So we're going to take this guy and see if we can kind of finish it off. Okay, so yeah, it's heating up. Well, I needed for this to heat up to a control temperature and then try to like place it here and kind of glue this stuff together. I guess it does work, you know, having these toys around, you know, to because if you use a, uh, like, you can use a regular soldering iron, like, and, you know, but that one, it's kind of, the temperature is not controlled, so it might burn the plastic rather than just mold, making it mold. So yeah, I can feel already this. So maybe I should have started with the, I mean, I'm learning as I'm doing it, so it's not like I've done this before. I, I mean, I've done it, but in, for a, oh, so this actually has some uh, plastic in it. It started extruding it. Let me just extrude it out. Maybe I should have done this from the beginning, or I can, actually I can put more gray inside of this and, you know, round it out and that's it. I, I think this is a good idea, at least if you have a 3D pen, it's a good idea to kind of just fix pieces that you may reuse. The print stopped, so I didn't know how to resume it, uh, because I was connected directly to the computer printing. And I don't know why I chose that, I guess I chose that so I can learn this lesson. And, because I have a printer with a 3D card. I mean, with the SD card, not 3D card. So, I'm not big into, you know, using a 3D pen, but it has proven itself useful in a few situations. And, you know, one is this. What I'm doing now is just kind of tracing the, the rip, the crack, the fissure. Yeah, the fissure. I'm just tracing the fissure and trying to get the glue to stick. Uh, I guess we're gonna use this to put potpourri in it and maybe I'm gonna use the 3d pen with gray or maybe other color to kind of cover this hole these holes and You know rather than just throw it away. I kind of feel bad Otherwise it would have been finished by now and I would have had this nice vase to put fake flowers in it would have been awesome, but, you know, some idiot engineer at Microsoft decided to make the decision for me to restart my computer for me. 
And the problem is that they even didn't even allow you to actually work with the computer. The screen would block everything behind it and it just doesn't allow you to. So it kind of forces you. So I was trying to wait it out and then I was escaping out of it. There were no options to like, you know, postpone it. And it restarted my computer. I mean, I, I feel so uh, wrong, I would say, because who are you to make me pay for your operating system? And then you make decisions for me. Let me do my decisions. Don't force your stupid thing on me or your stupid decisions. You don't know my situation. Don't assume that you know better. I mean, like, I'm a small pea in a pond in an ocean compared with Microsoft Mike. There should be a... Uh, a suit, a class action suit. I, I so wish uh, they would pay me a thousand dollars and probably they wouldn't even feel it. They wouldn't even care. Well, maybe I should ask for a billion so then they do not make decisions for me. So uh, I guess that is that. I'm still trying to fix this thing here. So probably I'm gonna fill it up with filament, the pen, and I'm gonna try to like squish it in there and maybe with the rework station and heal it a little bit. I guess it works out. Uh, you know, it's about making a, getting a, a preoccupation or... Okay, so this kind of worked. I'm not sure if I should insist on it because uh, sometimes if you trying to make things way better than possible, you might end up breaking them or making them worse. I'm talking and this pen turned off on me. This vase is printing again. It's at 50%. And... I didn't look at the slicer model and for some reason Cura decided to put one support totally off and I didn't even look and I just you know I just took because I, I was printing this and this didn't generate any support I just changed the first layer I had problems with the first layer so I you know re sliced it and then I took it on the card and I put it to print and then I'm seeing the head go into a different direction I'm like ah oh, maybe it's some weird thing it's self-cleaning or weird but then in reality I loaded the uh, G code and I saw that actually it generated some weird support and that support failed during the print process and now this vase it's like a catfish with all these wires hanging out in there because it prints in the air like uh, I would say an inch of hair come out uh, an inch of filament comes out and then it goes onto the top of this thing and it just glues it onto that so I'm gonna have to clean that up when it finishes so uh, talking about failed prints right there it's uh, a pain I don't know, I guess I get, uh, I'm a hoarder, so I get attached to things. And I feel like 10 hours or 12, no, actually more. 14 hours or, uh, no, 14, 28, yeah, I think 13 hours into the print. Microsoft, again, Windows 10 decides to make my decisions for me. Restart my computer. Like, who, like who does that? And here goes the print out the window. The print head got glued and when I was trying to like move it up it like snapped and it kind of was a mess. Then I have to retune the printer and retune the head because it got kind of loose on the rail and poof, crazy. Yeah, I guess I can take some plastic and pour it through the pen. It has a little strength. Oh, no, not too much strength. I just kind of cracked it again trying to see if it has strength let's take this it's gonna start up oops damn it i guess that's it it broke uh 195 okay this guy is increasing okay it's increasing and i think this rework station is even good for like kind of smoothing out the layers a little bit or if you have well, i don't know fuzz or i don't know how to call these things with like these web spider web thingy looking things now uh, you could use that to kind of melt them away and so finally, after years of being stored and not useful, it's finally become useful because I rarely solder anything. So now I'm just using this. Uh, this is going to stink because it gets glued on this nozzle here. But it's good that it has a certain temperature. It doesn't exceed it because it's controlled. So you don't kind of burn the glue. I mean the glue. You don't burn the plastic. So that's that. Uh, okay. So now it kind of looks nice. Ah, okay, I think it's much better now. If I heat it up like that, it's gonna kind of get into the, the inside the print, and it doesn't. 
and you could see like let me see if I can see how the layers melt and change shape can see it's shiny you kind of melt in I mean this would be like a monumental work to do this whole printout but you can change the nozzle and if you want to like see the shininess they kind of melt in together so that's the yeah, that's one good use I'm trying to kind of melt it and it doesn't it, it, it just keeps it at a certain temperature so it doesn't it turns it like almost like into clay and you could probably if I would have some special clay sculpting tools I could probably make it look better so that's one thought to have now I'm gonna use the 3d pen to kind of adjust the layers a little bit so I'll put this in here I have to rest it here because it kind of it turns off and it cools off it has some sort of a magnet in there activate some stop now this should be soft and you can put the air too strong here so it kind of created like a indentation into the model eh, it is what it is we'll see maybe it's still gonna end up in, in the scrap pile and this thing turned off again uh, enough of this